good afternoon. My name is Ashley and this is the explanation of how our church which was here went missing. Now one step it involved Aaron for the win 97 it was not his fault he did not do it on purpose it was an accident he didn't know any different he stole our church but I'm going to explain and I totally haven't prepared anything when I should have but there we go so I'm going to get some diamonds and explain look at that oh good I didn't want all them I'm going to explain to you where our church went Look at this, for preparation. Seven to do. No, we want nine. How many diamonds did we have? 1,653. Right, so it involves the Archimedes ships. Now, wh what I did is I parked the Archimedes ship, which was a hot air balloon, on top of the church. <coughs> now, I'm going to explain how these ships work before I start. So to make it a ship you use air balloons and a helm, and a helm turns any blocks connected to it into a ship. So if I put these diamond blocks on the side here, it will probably sink because we don't have enough air balloons. So if I do that, yeah, the diamonds become part of the balloon, and then you can fly that around and move it, meaning you can move any, you could connect it to anything, and as long as it's not, it's off the floor, you can fly it. Now, it's not Aaron's fault, but when Aaron came on, he saw, oh look, there's an airship. And it's on the church. We should go for I should go fly that. So he went and got on this and the helm was touching the church. So that's fine. Um to so say say these diamond blocks were the church. The my air balloon was touching it and he decides to come along and get on it and that's yep, it's fine. I don't mind him playing around with it if he wanted to. Um, so he got in it and it automatically connected to the church, meaning he could move the church around. Now that didn't happen, but what happened is he got on this and he disconnected. Now I disconnected now as so you can't see, but we tested it yesterday and that ship has now disappeared. It's like a boat. If you disconnect it on a boat or in a horse, on a horse even, that will disappear. So this ship disappeared when I logged out because it's part of me. So Aaron was still on the church in this airship when he logged out, meaning the whole church got ripped out. And that's why we saw the indent in the floor of the church. So you just say, oh, if Aaron logs back in, when the church come back? Now, yes, no. We then built stuff here. So now if Aaron logs in, this sh this church is going to come back and it's gonna, all this is going to be in the way, which is a problem. So when he does that, he crashes out. If we, if me, me and Lee happen, were on yesterday and Aaron came online, we are talking to him, and we both, me and Lee crashed out and then Aaron crashed out, and we wondered, why was this? So me, we first thought that it was a problem of Aaron's house, so we flew over to Aaron's house and this unloaded this chunk where the church used to be. Aaron logs in again and he crashes again. So he's, he loaded this chunk and died. Now me and Lee went over to Lady Random's and Random's house and tried it and Aaron came on, he crashed out the whole game and we stayed. So we just to make sure, me and Lee came back over and loaded this chunk when Aaron came in. Aaron loads in and instantly our games crashes. Not the server, our, our games. So something goes on here, the church tries to come back but it can't so these blocks are here. So basically Aaron can't log on. Now, a solution. Um, so in a server, I won't be able to show you, but in a server ev everything's stored in the world file, or a lot of the stuff. And in that world file folder is a player folder and in that player folder is a player dot dat file. So my so my dot dat file is called Pro Bongo Warrior I can't spell dot dat. So that this dot dat file whole gives the information to the server of my inventory, where I logged out and what I was doing. So if I was in 
this ship and I logged out that that file now knows that I logged out with this in my inventory this armor in the ship so the only way to get rid of that is to delete Aaron's dot that file which erases his own inventory where he logged out and what he was doing. Now the downside to that is he loses inventory which yeah I'll explain in a minute. He loses inventory but it means he can join the server again. So I don't know what he had in his inventory but I don't think it was nothing much. It's pretty basic what he's built so far. Not like conduits and backpacks full of diamonds and stuff. So that's the only way, so hopefully you're watching this random, that's the only way I know of how to do it. If it even works, I hope it works, because it would be a shame if Aaron could come back on. I don't think clearing this area of stuff and seeing if he could join would work. I don't think. The only issue I have with it is... An empty sign. Issue is, if a helm, if this helm, let's just pick this helm up. Uh, so this is the block that turns it into an airship. If this is on... the church was touching the floor. Now if the airship was touching the church, which was touching the floor, this would happen. Okay, that wasn't meant to happen. Um, if I do this and then the helm... That's not meant to happen either. Okay, I'm wrong. I'm totally wrong. So yeah, that's what happened. Aaron went into this, say this was the church, he was touching the roof of the church, he, he was touching it, he logged out, we lost it, gave up, built new stuff here, it's now glitching out and crashes his game. Not the server, but the game. So yeah, we've solved the case. Is it Aaron's fault? Uh, he shouldn't have been flying the airship, but I don't mind. At least we solved the, the problem. It wasn't theft, no one on the server did it on purpose. It's manslaughter, Aaron. You manslaughtered our church. Yeah, no one did it on purpose, no one's to blame. So yeah, um, that's probably going to be it. I'll keep this short so I can upload it and tell the world that we found our church. Um, dinosaur problem has been fixed. We've refixed our spawner with new improvements, not totally finished. We have the lovely spawning pad. We have the room where they're gonna die, which isn't finished yet. We have a lovely chicken farm, and all the chickens in the sorting system. We have sewage, which makes fertilizer, which we do to our wheat farm. <coughs> yeah. We have lots of power. This took ages to craft all these. Is the wheat farm is sludge which we'll boil and do stuff to. I don't really know what we do with it, but why not? We've got a more industrial path. This is some um, liquid XP, we drain our XP. Get it back. Um Yeah, like that. What? Pretty impressive. Obsidian maker. We have twelve thousand obsidian, so if anyone in the server needs it, come get it. 85,000 cobble if you need it, do come and get it, don't go and mine obsidian for years because it's a waste of time. Um, lots of stuff, yeah, 5,000 cactus, just 1,800 redstone, nearly got that amount of diamonds, we're running, we're running really low on redstone, iron, steel, and all the stuff, this is a sorting system. We throw stuff in here, and that one gets sorted. Ready? And it'll sort. You ready? Oh, that one gets sorted. Boom! Sort! Yeah! That one gets sorted either. We haven't fully configured it, but it's workable. It takes all the basic stuff. Leaded it. Wasn't me. I helped. I moaned it in when it didn't work. So, yep. Yeah, um, that's gonna be about it. Here's our battery farm. Don't know if we show you this. Uh, all this XP, which I'm now going to go turn into stuff. Um, oh, these are solar panels. These are really cool. Galacticraft, yeah. Um, anyway, I'm prolonging it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, if you're finally happy that we found the case of the church and 
tell me about it. Hopefully we can get Aaron back on soon. I know Random's gone away for a couple of days, so Aaron won't be on for that little bit, but I don't think he's really bothered. Hopefully we can get him back. Pray for Aaron. Yep, thank you for watching.